Getting into her COVID protective gear takes some time and more than a little courage. But Nurse DeSanti is just glad to have equipment available. Right after graduating from nursing school last year, she was sent to the front line of the pandemic in Jakarta and became infected herself. A few months after she recovered, the second wave hit the country. We used stretchers, wheelchairs. We even had to rotate the oxygen bottles for patients in the emergency room. And they kept coming and coming, even after we were out of beds and oxygen. Those who came had low oxygen levels. I was overwhelmed. The intensive care unit at this hospital is still at full capacity even though case numbers in the capital have been decreasing. Officially, COVID has claimed more than 100,000 lives in Indonesia, with many health workers among the victims. They've mostly been given the Chinese Sinovac vaccine. Now, medical staff like Dr Puspita are getting a booster shot of Moderna to better protect them. I'm really tired. This is just me, but when there are a lot of cases, I start talking to myself. This is insane. I have to work with COVID-19 cases over and over. I often feel like crying, but then I realize I'm not alone. My colleagues are also working hard. Doctors and nurses fully support the strict lockdown measures that the Indonesian government has enforced to flatten the curve. In Jakarta, roads have even been blocked to reduce mobility. Only those with the proper papers, like health workers, are allowed to pass. For weeks, Jakarta's big shopping malls remain closed, except for supermarkets. The malls will reopen in late August, but only to people with vaccination certificates. A trial program has already started. According to data from Jakarta State Hospitals, the mortality rate during this second wave has been almost four times higher for the unvaccinated than for those with two shots. Please get the vaccine while you can get free access. Whatever vaccine it is, take it, because it helps us fight the virus. Please obey health protocols and put your mask on. There are still many people out there who do not wear their mask correctly. DeSanti's family are very proud of their daughter. They belong to the 18% of the population who have had one dose of the vaccine. Only 8% are fully vaccinated. And while the rate of infections may be falling in Jakarta, the Delta variant is now threatening Indonesia's poorly equipped regions.